the ball forward, doesn't really favour the forwards. Papley, though, hits the ball with speed, gets it across to Wicks. Dangerous in front of goal. Papley loves the goal. Squaring ball, though, is really, really good from Tommy Papley. There's a couple of one-on-ones up ahead. One of them, Sharman. He pulled the kick beautifully. He made Sharman work into the space. Mid-season recruit. As we said, the two goals last week. That's a pretty good effort. That's a terrific effort from the youngster. Steele, game 100 for the Saints. What a leader he's become. Sends a high ball, top of the square. Membry had to sit, couldn't take the mark. Falls to Higgins, around the body. Saint, the Swans want touched. Ray Chamberlain says all clear. One more provides an option by hand. They elect to go that way. Drops the ball about 30 from home. Massive pack of plays. First side of King. The hands are up, and when he reaches out, good luck stopping that man taking the mark. So whatever he's doing is working for King from a slight angle. And he's pretty happy oh, with it. And gives it to Rampy. My word, he does a bit of push and shove as well. Kent gets in there. And they want to try and get it to the user in Hill. He's forced just to go wide. And now Sinclair again to Crouch. So they work it to the 50. Can he find a mark inside 50? He pops it up for Burns, but floating across memory. Hickey with a driving ball, deep forward, Reed, front position, good hands. Thank you. Tom, Tom, the area There's been plenty of afters, with both teams at both ends. Look at this, drives it forward, vacant forward line, and Ollie Florin will just run in, accept the goal. Swan's under pressure, Dawson had no time, got rid of the footy as best he could. Kent, hard man, Dunstan. Snapping ball, dangerous position. Blakey affects the contest. Comes to ground. Higgins bends around the corner. And Higgins has got a couple. But he's extended his lead. He's way up out of the forward 50. Going towards a couple of swans. Goulden, Papley. Snapping ball, Tommy Papley. Wonderful finish from the man from Bunyip. Enjoys a goal, enjoys a celebration. Side 50 for the Saints. Big blocks being put on. Marshall drives it with a really high ball down in that direction now. King comes from the side. Wasn't a fact that Kent was. Just hit at the back of the pack and got a perfect start for the Saints. He continues his run, Blakey. He's normally a pretty good kick. He keeps it low, but Marshall sitting back in the hole takes a terrific mark. Oh, it's a penetrating leg, isn't it? Although he's coughed that one up. And it goes straight to Dawson, who doesn't need much time and space. And off one step. Oh, that's a blow. And Kent kick the opener of the term. Doesn't fancy the distance. Lead is on. Perfectly executed. Another great year. Coaches votes in eight of the last nine rounds. That's the form he's in. Steele squeezes it home. Anytime they can get it in Blakey's hands, but well done again by the Saints. And they're out here on the turnover. King just has to think his way through it, gives the handball to Butler, goes on the outside of the boot. He's got Higgins and he's got Crouch. They both waited for each other, but Higgins says, I'll take care of it. I've already got two. I'll now kick my third. McKenzie did it nicely. Kennedy, good front and square, got the arms free. Gordon. Had an opportunity denied moments ago. Gets his second. And the Swans get the perfect start to the third term. So they generally come out strong in the second halves. And Rampy's just going to drive it straight down the middle. Haywood, or Dawson is it in fact. It was Brad Hill who was on him. Didn't go with Dawson. Didn't keep him out of the contest. And it doesn't come off the boot overly well, but it had the little bit of right to left. And Dawson sneaks it home for his second. Steele trying to do something about it. Jones as well. Nice shimmy and dummy. Now puts the afterburners on Jones. Takes a bounce. Drops it forwards. Kent, whistle on play. As long as if he kicks it, that's fine. Yeah. Kicked one and missed one that he didn't want to really have a go at. No problem at all for Kent. Immediate response and a big one for St Kilda. Chaining the hand pass. Burns, 
Drops the footy forward. Swans have got the numbers in here. They don't leave anyone on the back. McKenzie goes to tap to King. Tight angle for King. Oh, he's kicked it. He has kicked it. King has got two. And the Saints get two on the bounce. Steps away. Comes back and across. It's a confident ball. Hangs up a long time. And arriving on the seas, the big boy from Taralgon, Tim Memory. They've got players out everywhere here. If Burns can think his way through it, he can. And again, it's Sharman presenting at the footy. He has Higgins running to goal. Will it get over the top? It will. Squeezes the ball inside, straight through the hands of Parker. Overran it for a moment there, Parker. Got to him quicker than he was expecting. Dunstan takes on three tackles, and he's gone. That's a 30-point margin in the blink of an eye after four unanswered. Hayward trots on, now trots in. And they needed that. Oh, gee, they did the Swans. They get it back to a four-goal margin in the shadows of three-quarter time. Jones and Heaney, former teammates, just going at it a little bit. Plenty on the line, as we've said. Pat Lee, can he create something wrapped up by two Saints? And then Ray's paid a push in the back. There's a Webster in fact, it was McKenzie. And Pat Lee normally eats these for breakfast. He's trying to fire up his swans, and they get back within 20 points. Then they're going to look to go, and it's Blakey, who loves to run, and he's got a paddock, and he's got a one-on-one -on -one up ahead. How will it fall? Well done by Highmore. He won the battle, and now Haywood. Can he snap it around the body? He's already got a couple. How will it bounce? Oh. It favours the swans, and they are back within three goals, and it's nervous times if you're a Saints fan. So an opportunity opens here for the Saints. Kent sees a one-on-one, -on -one, goes in that direction. It's Steele who's having a spell forward on Rampy. Missed the handball, goes back at it again. That was a clever handball. And the advantage should be paid. And it's going to be Cooper Sharman with a finish. Well done, Blakey. Got the fist in. Crouch goes hard. Still with the Saints. Can this time they put the nail in the coffin? Jones to the top of the square. Which way is the free kick going to go? It's going to go the way of the Saints. And it'll be coming up for goal number three. To seal the victory for the Saints, you would think. And the weekend of upsets continue. And they're going to lead at every change. And in fact, they're going to win every quarter. And the Saints have found a way to stop the Red Hot Swans.